que esto es saber con ustedes que es importante. Salamander, this is important. This is, this is big. This is big. By nuestra gente, for everyone here, the number one contendership for the Elite Tag Team Championship. Absolutely. And by the way, hey, Xavier Cross, how are you? Salamander, nice to see you too. Good to I see you, bud. I, I know a uh, ball guy was talking about my dancing, by the way. Well, you know. Oh, boy. Esto es para decidir quién va a estar con los Elite Tag Team Championships. Who's going to face them, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to find out right now. The Puerto Rican brothers, South Philly's finest salamander, it doesn't get any bigger than this. I'm going to tell you what right now, man. If either of these teams thought they were going to just get a, to walk into an opportunity as being the number one contenders, that is not the case because I'll tell you what, the Puerto Rican Brotherhood, they have been on fire. And for the last several months, I would even say for the last year or so, when you mention the elite tag titles and you talk about the title picture, South Philly's finest name, they always come up. They're always right in the mix. This is going to be a battle, man. Lo que está diciendo es que los dos, los dos están en fuego. South Philly's finest representando Philadelphia. Los hermanos puertorriqueños representando la isla del encanto Puerto Rico. Está trajeando aquí. ¿Quién va a ser? Mr. Revolution, G. Vader. Aquí estamos. Los no. campeones también. Ladies and gentlemen, also the champions. This is big because we had a title change the last time we were here in Mountainville. We had the Cam Am connection as the new elite tag champion, Salamander. Absolutely. And before this, you know, when this is all said and done, one of these teams is going to get an opportunity against the Cam Am connection for those very, very titles. Now, what's kind of interesting here tonight, though, is uh, Diablo Rojo is not in attendance, and Samuel Adams has actually come down to the ring with G. Vader and Mr. Revolution and is basically, uh, seems to be playing the part of Diablo Rojo I, I, I have discussing it on, strategy. I have it on informed sources because they Alrighty. speak to me, Salamander. Okay. I have it on very informed sources that Diablo Rojo is looking for new teams, looking for new talent for, for the Puerto Rican brothers, for the entire Puerto Rican constituency. And that is the reason he's not here this evening. He's actually out scouting talent. So, you know, that's why Samuel Adams is here helping out. Para lo que están, para lo que lo que estaba diciendo este, que Diablo Rojo no está aquí esta noche porque él está evaluando talento por toda la isla del encanto, por todo Puerto Rico. Está evaluando talento de todo y Don Samuel Adams está ahí ayudando a los hermanos puertorriqueños. Tag made now to the gent Jimmy Conway and big boot to the mush of Mr. Revolution. Hooks the outside leg here and just barely gets a two count. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, the fish hook. That's just nasty. Just nasty. What's he doing? Look at this now. Front face lock applied. Dragging him back to the corner and the tent and the tag made now to Brazi. Brazi. Look at this. And, oh! And that's their strategy. Double teams, fresh tags, pin attempt. I'll tell you what, man. Conway and Brazi are such a well oiled machine. It's going to be very interesting to see how Mr. Revolution and G Vader do together, do as a team here against the two of them. I mean, I know that they are both members of the Puerto Rican Brotherhood, obviously, but uh, generally they are not the two individuals you see as representing the tag team aspect of the Puerto Rican Brotherhood. Very, very astute observation. Usually it's uh, it's either Samuel Adams or Mr. Revolution or, you know, some you want to say like a, a Garvin, a, a Freebird hybrid, if you will. A Freebirds hybrid at times, but 
Not to mention, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the Pagan Brothers as well. That's right. That's right. Danny and Nicolo, lo van a pagar también aquí. Oh, look at the face of Brazi, Samuel Adams. Mira esto, mira has esto. Has his uh, walking hey, sticker. Oh, man. man. And suckered it in, ran into a big D from G. Vader. Que pelazo le dio G. Vader aquí. G. Vader, Samuel Adams. Meanwhile, Con actividad. the official dealing with Conway in the corner and the Puerto Rican Brotherhood are basically stomping away on Brazos. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Conway launched himself and took out Samuel Adams. Está peleando afuera, esta gente. Oh! No se va a ganar así. No se va a ganar así. Ahora que G. Vader. Vader, Vader now driving Brazi face first into the top turnbuckle and the shoulder block. G. Vader. Vader, Vader now driving Brazi face first into the top turnbuckle and the shoulder block to the lower back, to that kidney region. And that was their strategy all along, it appears. The Puerto Rican brothers distract, deter, and then bring the... Look, they're still fighting out here. They're still fighting out here. Absolutely. And look at this now. Vader is all over Brazi. Conway is uh, struggling to get back to his corner. Mr. Revolution is shaking off the effects of his battle with Conway on the outside. Conway doesn't know whether to scratch his watch or wind his butt. Say what now? You heard. G. Vader, though, staying on top of the line, Luca Brasi. And Vader, I'll tell you what, this guy has. Oh! He has a serious size advantage in this matchup at 245 pounds. He does. He is definitely the muscle behind here. And you know, here's the thing. I understand that you have a working relationship with the Puerto Rican Brotherhood. You actually chat with them it's, and stuff. It's a conversational relationship. Which is great. But I'll tell you what. I know G. Vader. I've seen him around a few places. And I know he's got that straight up mean Nancy streak. Tag made to Mr. Revolution and Mr. Revolution just tagged Luca the line Brazi right between the eyes. Goes for the minutes. cover and gets a two count. Yep. And Mr. Revolution starting to wear down one half of the South Philly's finest. And I think that's their strategy. Oh, wear yeah. down one of the two. And you see this now though, he's gouging the man's eyes right here. I still call it wearing him down. Shot to the gent. To draw the official, and now Vader and Mr. Revolution again stomping away on the line, Luca Brasi. Like mira esto aquí. I'll tell you what, man. Like I said, like I was saying before, trying to turn this man into a fine wine. G. Vader now choking the life out of him. G. Vader teniendo una conversación con él también. Oh, this is ridiculous. También Samuel Adams y también Mr. Revolution. This is just insane. You need like three officials out here for a match like this. Only one good one. I think he's good so far. Only one good one with six sets of eyes. You say it's a potato, I say... I say bite. All right then. Mira esto, mira esto. Tilt the World Head Scissors takes down G. Vader. This is the opportunity. This is the moment right here. Who wants it more? Quien no quiere, va. Mr. Revolution, though, with the clubbing shot to the line, Luca Brasi, buying Vader some more time. Vader making the tag. Brasi so close, but not close enough. Mr. Revolution now taking Brasi back to the middle of the ring. Luca Brasi necesita acoger una oportunidad aquí porque si no va a ganar los hermanos puertorriqueños aquí. Oh, he's really laying in those chops, man. He needs to make a tag end quickly here. Brasi with the sunset flip attempt. Can he get him over? What's this? Mr. Revolution trying to get to the ropes. Mira, 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 mira. ¿Qué pasa aquí? He's close. 
And Brosley powers him over. Oh! Did not get it though. And vicious clothesline from Mr. Revolution. Eso fue lo. Eso fue lo. That was a two count. That was a two count, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this, choking the life out of the line, Luca Brasi, right in front of the referee. Oh, and Mr. Revolution now making a light snack out of the forehead of the line, Luca Brasi. He didn't have enough pateles in his diet. He didn't have enough meat in his diet. Well, he's 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 not going to get it off of the head of uh, the line, Luca Brasi. There, go get some chicken or something. Mira this double team maneuver. Brasi on his feet. And the tag. tag made. Ahí vamos. Oh, the gen is on fire. Jimmy Conway, G Raider, Russian leg sweep. Mr. Revolution swung wildly. Blue Thunder Bomb onto the back of G Vader's head. Le dieron poco paso. Vader back to his feet. Charges the line. The line with the low bridge. ¿Qué pasa con G Vader? Se fue para afuera. Mr. Revolution all alone here. Oh boy. Uh oh. The principio de final. Oh, there it is. ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué van a hacer? ¿Qué van a hacer? Into the single leg Boston ¿Qué Crab. Van a hacer? Oh, and he and taps. South Philly's finest. He taps. said, South Philly's finest, always in the mix, always close in the tag team title picture, but now they've never been closer. They are the new number one contenders, and they got that guaranteed shot against the Cam and Connection sometime in the near future here at WXWC4. I couldn't agree with you more. The Puerto Rican brothers wanted it, but South Philly's finest wanted it more. Damas y caballeros, aquí estamos, aquí, WXWC4, más acción en breve. Well, there you have it, folks. Tag team action only you're going to be able to see here in WXWC4. South Philly's Finest did it, despite the actions of Mr. Good Luck, Samuel Adams, and the Puerto Rican Brotherhood. The South Philly's Finest are going to face the Cam Man Connection September 5th at the Mountainville Memorial Coliseum, the WXWC4 Arena. So do not miss it. Again, September 5th. Coming up next, we're going to have the Samoan Sensation. Nui Tofinga in action right after this.